Hi, thanks for joining me again in this series on God's justice and God's judgments. Just before World War II, in Prague, a university professor by the name of Jan Potoka, in what was then known as Czechoslovakia, but today it's known as the Czech Republic or Czechia, he was asked, do you believe in God? And he replied, no, I could never believe in a God that punishes sin. During World War II, a high-ranking Nazi official by the name of Reinhard Heydrich was assassinated. And he was one of the major architects of the Holocaust. In retribution, the Nazis went to two villages outside of Prague by the name of Leditz and Lazaki, excuse my accent, and they executed all the men, some women and children, and those that they did not execute were sent to death camps where they perished. After World War II, Jan Potoka, the Prague University professor, was asked again, do you believe in God? And his response was, I could only believe in a God that punishes evil. What changed for this university professor, for Jan Potoka? What changed was his perception of punishment of evil. A similar thing happened during the Bosnian War in the mid-90s, there was a Croatian theologian by the name of Miroslav Vulf. And I want to read just a couple of things that he wrote in his book, Free of Charge. And he wrote this, I used to think that wrath was unworthy of God. Isn't God love? Shouldn't divine love be beyond wrath? God is love and God loves every person and every creature. Then he writes, that's exactly why God is wrathful against some of them. Then he writes how he came to that conclusion. He writes, my last resistance to the idea of God's wrath was a casualty of the war was a casualty of the war in the former Yugoslavia, a region where I came from. According to some estimates, 200,000 people were killed and over 3 million people displaced. My villages and cities were destroyed. My people shelled day in, day out. Some of them brutalized beyond imagination. Then he writes this, And I could not imagine God not being angry. Then he writes, think of Rwanda in the last decade, where 800,000 people were hacked to death in a hundred days. How did God react to the carnage? By doting on the perpetrators in a grandparently fashion? By refusing to condemn the bloodbath, but instead affirming the perpetrator's basic goodness? Wasn't God fiercely angry with them? Though I used to complain about the indecency of the idea of God's wrath, I came to think that I would have to rebel against a God who wasn't wrathful at the sight of the world's evil. God isn't wrathful in spite of being love. God is wrathful because he is love. You see, God judges because he's good. This is God's justice. What hope would there be if there was no justice ever? God's justice brings us hope. If a criminal came before a judge and said, I love you, would he be a good judge? Would he be a just judge? Would we, would we really like a God like that? 
Jan Petoka and Miroslav Wolf certainly would not.